What's up, Fan Entertainment? This is Minnie. I'm busy getting my hair did at China with my hair doctor, Abdul. Uh, yeah, I don't look so glamorous right now, but hopefully you guys will see the after where I look good, so sharp. Um, yeah, my hair at the moment be getting Indonesian hair put in. Um, I had Russian hair before that, so now I'm getting Indonesian. So yeah, I know we we globe trotting with the hair. It's how we roll. <laughs> I usually keep my hairstyle the same because of um, continuity on the wild. So um, I don't really have lots of time to change my hair because my character goes through different things. Sometimes we shoot the last scene that's supposed to be for the first scene. The most important thing for a character is to really feel like you are the person and physically transforming yourself to become the person makes the process of um, performing or portraying that character a lot easier. So that's one of the most important things about physically transforming for a role is that it makes your adaptation of that role a lot more authentic. You guys are going to be hanging out with me on set of The Wild today. I'm excited for you guys to see how everything works. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, so I'm generally fresher than I would be um, because usually my call time is 5 o'clock, which means I wake up at 4. I try to get 8 hours of sleep in as much as I can. I'm not a morning person and I, I love my sleep, so yeah, I try. They say get 8 hours of sleep, so I'm working on it. <laughs> what happened once was my alarm clock actually didn't go off. And I remember calling production, I'm like, oh, I'm running really late, my alarm clock didn't go off. And they're like, Minnie, relax, it happens. So yeah, it's happened. <laughs> I mean, life was a big part of my life for a very long time, for a good year and a half. And it was the reason why I'm in Joburg, you know, why I came to Joburg. And not only was I on live on a Friday night, but Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 p.m., I was working on production. So it holds a very special place in my heart. It always has and it always will. Now I'm excited to show you guys about my first love, which is acting, and um, really get taken seriously in, in this part of mine, this new part that I've taken. We're here, we entertainment. This is our base camp. And yeah, I'm gonna rush into hair and makeup and get someone to get me some breakfast and stuff. That's our makeup truck. This is our wardrobe. So this is where everyone's clothes are. Clothes, shoes, accessories. This is like the storage place of that. Zinfe, um, from the beginning, started out as this bratty teenager, very sassy, came, on to, came onto the scene, um, causing up a stir, flirting with all the guys, a real self-assured girl. And um, thanks, Jeff. My sides. This is probably the quietest set has ever been, or this truck has ever been. It's like, <laughs> I find it very easy to remember lines. I can learn lines in five minutes, two minutes, but the most important thing to do is actually get an understanding of the scene and how your character would play the role. So it's all good and dandy learning the lines, but it's about how Zinta would say the lines, how her body moves when she says the lines, naturally and also when you think about it in your head. So um, yeah, there's a lot more that goes into it than just learning lines. I was doing a shoot and this makeup artist literally chopped half of my eyebrow off. What? Seriously, do you want to see it? Look. I have like half an eyebrow. Joys of having a makeup artist who's never touched your face to your face. Other than the fact that Abdul has magic hands when it comes to washing my hair, I get to sit on this baby and it's a massage chair and it is beyond amazing. So yeah, this is like my moment of relax all the time, once a week. Now get a mani and pedi uh, get a mani and pedi done here as well, but that's been long overdue because my character's been cleaning toilets. So waiting for the storyline to change so I can get my mani and pedi done again. When I'm not on set, 
I'm usually running around doing interviews, have meetings for all my other projects that I'm working on. So I never really get a chance to relax. I usually have a Sunday. Sunday afternoon is usually my day to relax. That's where I usually cook, have Sunday lunch, and that's usually my, my relax day. Okay, makeup done, hair done, eyebrows drawn on. So now we're getting into the shuttle and we're on our way to sit. This is the Lebone house. As you can see over there, they're busy setting up for our breakfast scene that we're about to have right now. So follow me. <laughs> That's why I'm in my PJs for the scene. Okay, and this is our lounge area. I'm sure it looks quite familiar. So as you can see, it's not really like a set set. It's like an actual house. So that's the cool thing about this. It's not like funny wooden boards that like could be knocked over at any point. It's actually it's an actual house. Come see this. It's quite cool. He's sitting here. He's got the earphones to hear what we're saying. And those are all the different cameras. Because so there were three cameras out there. It's camera A, B, and C. And he's looking at everything from these cameras and he's able to direct from here and tell the cameras move in, move out, because they're all on comms. And then he'll come out and give us our own um, actor's direction. So this is what happens in this room. And then this is the coolest part. We get into the next room and boom! We're in the Fenrianen's kitchen. How awesome is that? So this is the Fenrianen kitchen. So it's actually all one house. The one side's the Lebone and the one side's the Fenrianen. Set secrets, I didn't say anything. You know, I do watch the show and I manage to watch the show as if it's not me acting as Inche. And I think she's quite cool. She adds a lot of spice and a lot of fun to the show. So um, I like her character. I love the way that she's written. Um, but one of my favorites as well has to be um, Mr. Show's character, Dumeleng. Um, he's so dark and he's such a dark and evil character, but you still manage to love him at the same time. Like, you still want him to get busted. and. Yeah, so um, as he's definitely one of my favorite characters. As well as Keenan. Keenan, he plays um, Ashrin. Um, he's lots of fun, we're really, really cool. So um, after the whole naked in the pool scene, um, we managed to become really cool friends. So um, they're lots of fun to shoot with. Oh yeah, that's how we roll. First time we met, we're like, we have a kissing scene and we're naked in the pool. I was like, nice to meet you. such a beautiful place to shoot. I mean, we wake up, it's natural, fresh air, and you know, the thing is, is it's real. We get to do the things that, that are written down. Like, every time there's a car scene or a stunt, you're like, oh, we get to do that. So, um, it makes every working day um, very eventful and very exciting. <laughs>